No, Charlie, how far? How things they go? Charlie, I do. Today, there, I know if you bam bam. You should, you should say no one show with the big Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. Okay, if you talk to them, let me continue. All right, bro, no shake. Good morning to everyone, and a warm welcome to this year's Oxford Africa Business Forum. My name is Noel Marble, and I'm from Ghana, and this year's co-director of the Africa Business Forum. As you could probably tell from our dialogue in the beginning, I'm joined today by my fellow countrymen and the other co-director, Justice Edu. Thank you very much, Noel. On behalf of the University of Oxford Said Business School and the Oxford Africa Business Alliance, we are honored to welcome everyone to the 13th annual Oxford Africa Business Forum. It's been a great year to celebrate the African continent, from Senegal winning the AFCON to Eliud Kipchoge's marathon world record run at the Tokyo Olympic Games, to Ngozi Okonjo Ewele being named first female director general of the World Trade Organization, and not forgetting Benna Boy's Grammy winning album feat. Oh boy, I would say the last 12 months has been a great one for the African continent. These events have lifted me with hope and reinforced my view that when given the right opportunities, Africans are able to excel. We cannot afford to stop now. We need to keep the African dream alive and make the next year an even bigger one for the continent. You know, Justice, I couldn't agree more. Um, what a time it is for the continent. And no one is better positioned to accelerate Africa's transition into a sustainable and developed economy than the next generation. Hence why this year's theme is the youth of Africa, accessing the opportunity and navigating the challenge. Now, Justice, if, if, you, if you may do me a, a solid, sure. please riddle me this. Sure. Which continent has the youngest population? Sounds pretty much like Africa. Okay, okay, I'll give you that. Um, and can you tell me which continent has around 60% of its population younger than 25 years and more than a third between 15 and 34? I would say Africa once again. Okay, okay. Um, I think justice is too good at this, but let me, let me try and give him a challenge one. I bet you couldn't tell me which continent's youth will be equivalent to twice Europe's entire population and almost half of the world's youth by 2100. Hmm. Sounds like a tough one, but I'm pretty sure it should be Africa. Okay, uh, I'm gonna stop with questions because justice is, is clearly too good at them. Um, while other world regions have been facing an aging population with a high demand for skilled and qualified labor, the continent's youthful population presents a powerful opportunity for accelerated economic growth and innovation. Yet this demographic also presents economic and social challenges. As the world becomes more digitally integrated with nuanced ways for many parts of the world to take advantage of this youth world. The forum will focus on a wide range of areas to better understand how we should be thinking about various economic opportunities with respect to Africa's youth population. Mm -hmm. Side Business School is committed to ensuring Africa is represented in its learning pedagogy. Through the Oxford Africa Business Alliance, the Oxford Africa Business Forum, the Invest Africa Business Mentoring Program, and many other interesting initiatives, the Business School has taken pride in investing in African talent and the overall development of the continent. As a result, 12% of this year's MBA cohort is represented by Africans such as myself and Lloyd. In addition to this, the Oxford Africa Business Forum carries great weight to the wider Oxford University community. As part of the pledge made to continue to invest in Africa and support the next generation of African leaders, Said Business School plays a major role in shifting the African narrative and shedding light on all the opportunities that lie ahead. The forum is just one of the many ways Africa is celebrated within the University of Oxford. So now, Noi, what should we expect for the rest of the day? You know, I'm, I'm very glad you asked this justice. And today promises to be a thought provoking, riveting and inspiring day with an incredible list of curated speakers. Without going into all of the details, the sessions we have planned span a wide range of areas of development on the continent. Mm -hmm. From entrepreneurship to disruptive technology, to work in the public sector, climate and everything in between, we, have a, we hope the compelling discussions from our speakers leave lasting impressions for all those in attendance. For the very first time, we also have our co-chair Noose 
moderating a session in French, showcasing the wonderful heterogeneity of the continent. In addition to the panels, there's the invaluable opportunity to network outside of the sessions. So I do hope everyone takes advantage of the virtual platform to form meaningful connections with like-minded individuals. I personally have no doubt the forum will leave everyone with insights to take beyond the excitement of just today. You are absolutely right, Noe. However, I do think everyone should make a conscious effort to engage in the sessions and not just passively listen. I would like to encourage everyone to take notes, ask questions, network, and really immerse yourself into the whole experience. With a lot of forums and conferences occurring throughout the year, we want you to get something different out of the Oxford Africa Business Forum. And as a collective, we are hopeful that you will leave this forum with at least one key takeaway that will reignite your love and passion for the continent. Agreed, agreed. So there you have it. Today promises to be a memorable one. We sincerely hope you all enjoy the Africa Business Forum and join myself and Justice, as well as other members of our cohort in committing to ensure Africa is part of the everyday conversation moving forward. Yes, and this is not the last time you will be seen of us. We will be back to share lessons learned with you and wrap up what we believe will be an awesome time together. Now, we would like to hand over to our Associate Dean, Katie Harvey, for her welcome message on behalf of the Side Business Group. Hello and welcome to the Oxford Africa Business Forum. I'm Kathy Harvey, I'm the Associate Dean for our MBA program and our executive degree programs. It is a pleasure to welcome you all for this very special event. The theme of course is the youth of Africa and it's particularly relevant for all of us here at Oxford Said, where we've invested in supporting the next generation of African leaders. Our aim is to support young, inspiring Africans looking to leave their mark on the continent. We're proud to have our African students represent over 10% of our MBA and our executive degree programs. And our African student community bring a wealth of knowledge about the economic potential of Africa across a range of companies and across a range of countries and cultures. But funding can be an economic barrier to obtaining further education. And that's why we've committed to providing scholarships for talented African students. Now we are extremely proud and honoured to announce a new MBA scholarship, the Oxford Orgiaco Graduate Scholarship. We would like to extend our sincere thanks to our donor, Dr. Brian Orgiaco, chairman and co-founder of CEPLAT. He was born and raised in Nigeria and Dr. Orgiaco is committed to Africa and regularly works on projects to explore and support the issues affecting the continent. This scholarship has been created to support exceptional African students. And of course, we hope that we have plenty of them. It is a very special gift and we are very, very grateful. It will cover all the MBA course fees and a grant for living expenses at Oxford Said in perpetuity. What a special gift. We're also extremely grateful to Hasmat Patel, a Said Business School alumnus who completed his executive MBA in 2019, and who has funded the Oxford Hasmat Patel Graduate Scholarship for African students on our executive MBA programme. Hasmat was born in Kenya, and he is the founder of CEO of Age Care in Canada. He is a firm believer in the benefits of continuing education and the importance of increasing geographic diversity by encouraging and offering opportunities to students from across Africa. He was a great student himself when he studied with us. And I know that all those students who benefit from his scholarship will be doing their best to live up to his inspiration. Please join me in thanking these two wonderful donors and we hope many of you joining us today at the forum will explore the program and funding opportunities on offer here at Oxford Said. And finally, as you reflect on your own discussions that take place today, I just encourage you to engage and network with each other and to share the insights and the opportunities that exist within this rich and diverse ecosystem across Oxford and across Africa itself. Enjoy your conference and thank you.